articulated bone block for posterior cruciate ligament reconstruction using bone patellar tendon bone autograph. Technical tip to facilitate graft passage by Dr. Ramon Cuet and his team. The authors declare no conflicts of interest. The ACL is observed lax due to a posteriorly located tibia, leaving the common finding of a false positive Lachman or anterior drawer. PCL fibers are lax. A posterior medial portal is created and a 8.5 mm cannula used. A combination of shaver and tissue ablation device are used to remove all uh, PCL remnants from the tibia. A saw is first used to divide the femoral bone block into two equal sized parts and the final articulation of the bone block is made by hand. Then a drill hole is placed in each part of the separated bone block and a non-observable suture is looped around the two holes and the tendon part leaving a figure of a like configuration. This is the final appearance looking from the bone side and the tendon side. Looking from the posterior medial portal, a PCL tibial guide is positioned in the back of the tibia and a 2.4 mm drill advanced carefully to avoid damage of the neurovascular handle. Then a 10 mm reamer used to create the tibial tunnel. The PCL femoral guide is positioned so that the center of the guide is 8 mm away from the bone tendon interface and the same drill advanced outside in along with a 10 mm reamer to create the femoral tunnel. Then a suture is used to check isometry throughout the full range of motion and bring the graft inside the joint from the tibial side to the femoral side with the help of a probe an interference screw is used to fix the femur outside in and then at 60 degrees of flexion and correcting the posterior tibial subluxation the same fixation is used for the tibia this is the final appearance of the construct with adequate tension of both the ACL and PCL without laxity on anterior and posterior drawer tests. We would like to thank the whole team 